everyone. Hello. Welcome back. And today we've got a video for you on grooms fragrances. <laughs> yes. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. We're right in the middle of wedding season. Yes. And I feel like we did a bridal one. We did one a bridal one last year, so we thought let's do one for the gents. Yes. And we're going to go with the theme of four fragrances: something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. Yeah. I know that's traditionally for the bride, but who Good cares? Runner. Let's apply it to the groom. Yes. Um, so we've picked an old fragrance, a new yeah. fragrance, something borrowed, mm. which we'll explain in a bit, and then a blue fragrance. Yeah. Just to theme it. Yeah. So I start? Yes. So the old fragrance, i.e. traditional fragrance, um, is Mark Burley. Ooh. Have you heard of this? Because... I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. Um, I want to say maybe it's only available in Harrods. I think that's the only place in the world mm. it's available. Um, do you know who Mark Burley even is? There's the question. Mm. Um, so this is a, he was a, a businessman, English, true English gent. Yes, actually. he was. Um, and probably most famously, he ran, uh, opened and ran Annabelle's nightclub. Yeah, and other like gentlemen's Mark's clubs. And and all in central London. Yeah. Um, Annabelle's apparently was the only nightclub the Queen had ever been to. Yes. It's a classy establishment. <laughs> Um, anyway, and, and Mr. Burley has his own fragrance, and the reason why I picked it, because it is, I mean, it was launched quite a few years ago, mm -hmm. but I didn't pick it for that reason, I picked it because for me it's the traditional English gentleman fragrance. Yes. Um, it's quite a sort of tailored um, citrus woody aromatic mm, classic scent. Classic smell, yeah. Very classically mm, sort of manly, yeah. um, without being um, old sort of pipe and sippers yes i really like this i forget i mean it's even fabulous. when i worked in store i worked mm. in harrods and i worked in selfridges where we used to sell it as well i mean we used to maybe sell one bottle every six months it's you not know well known. it's not well known you have to ask for it it's in the drawer mm. kind of thing but um, it's just but it's fabulous. actually a really nice mm. fragrance it's an ultimate gents scent so it's know? got a lot of citrus mm. um in the top it's quite aromatic I it's feel like this really kind of really aromatic but not in a, a spa way no know. sage um there's also carrot seed in here which oh you do God, not yeah. you do not find in fragrances nowadays no. and then you've got like musk and vetiver in the base so vetiver being again yeah. a sort of classic gent sort of mm. choice of ingredients quite earthy yet green yeah. and then the musk gives it that sort of softness yeah and um, apparently as well frederick marle had a hand in yes. creation of this fragrance mm. so i did not know that yeah way back before the brand mm. of frederick mm. marl um it's yeah. great the reason i've chosen it as well is because often guys on your wedding day i am told um and I've, i sort of interviewed a few men to find yeah. this out um you just feel you've got that kind of it's hot <laughs> Yeah, stress. <laughs> got a bit of sweat on, yeah. you know, because you're in your suit and your yeah, tie and your waistcoat yeah. and, your, and your jacket and there's a lot of stuff going on. This is quite refreshing mm, it is. on spritz, so it's quite nice to sort of energise yourself mm. and feel it's a cool But it's not, and, and it's not too overpowering. Yeah. So I think, I don't, obviously it's totally up to you, but for a fragrance on your wedding day, I wouldn't want something that was like, you know, bigger than your outfit. You know what I mean? Or bigger than the bride. You are well, definitely. You need you the bride to shine. <laughs> so, but, but yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. Try it out. Um, so that's something. Oh, what about something? Something new. new. Okay. This. Know. Thank you. Is new from Cartier. So you will have probably seen Long Vol de Cartier. We did a video featuring it last year. We'll try and link yes. that up below. That was the Eau de Parfum that they launched first. Now mm. they have launched an Eau de Toilette. Okay. And the Eau de Toilette is quite a different smell, actually. Mm. Um, the bottle's very similar, but what you'll know is that in the Eau de Parfum, they had a refillable bottle. Oh, they yes. had a beautiful glass yes. dome and the ampule. Yeah. And yeah. So in the Eau de Toilette, they don't make that. It just comes in this um, solid based bottle. It's a really nice looking bottle, actually. It is. And I love things with a heavy, weighty bottom. Feels really nice. Mm. And it's obviously got this twist up top which is very practical as well you're not mm -hmm. going to lose the lid or anything and um, let's show you um the smell okay thank you go and um, so the original fragrance mm -hmm. had this inspiration of mead this drink of gods 
that would give you the power mm. to surpass your destiny um, and it has so. that oriental feel to it um, what I think Mathilde Laurent has done with this perfume is to give it more of a freshness it's, yeah so it's like it's the idea freshness. yes it's like the idea of you know your because the long vol means take off yeah. So it's like the idea you're taking off in your plane mm. and you're going up so high into the clouds, mm. but the cloud is like a citrus cloud. Yeah. So it's it that is. kind of airy, it's beautiful um, freshness mm. to it. Yeah. And again, similar to what we said before about Mark Burley, gives you that impression of, of fresh, freshening, I can't even speak, freshening up. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, but it does still have a woodiness. Mm. Um, Gaiac wood, but it's more green. Do you think this is long lasting? I think so. I mean, I haven't, I'll be honest, I've not like worn it all over as mm. my fragrance. I mean, I've sprayed it on me mm. um, and it has lasted well. Because the Eau de Parfum really lasted really last. last year. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'd say if you maybe found the Eau de Parfum a bit too sweet, mm. that was something that obviously it's marketed as a men's fragrance, but a lot of women were buying it um, mm. because it's quite sweet. If you were put off by that and you want something that's a bit more traditionally kind of elegant man, man's yeah. fragrance then you might want to try the eau de toilette because it is quite different now i don't think this is out until september now it launches in august in harrods right. i think and then in other places in september, september. so we'll try and put a uh, link if we can mm, um, but yeah one. look out for that one okay something new something new what about something borrowed so for for this i was thinking about maybe borrowing your wife to be sent yes <laughs> is that okay on your wedding day yes, yeah. <laughs> and, and so we chose a fragrance that's marketed for women yes um, we talked about this concept when we were with Persilos, do you yeah. remember? Um, and actually one of the fragrances we talked about was the For Her Amber Musk. Mm -hmm. This is Narciso Rodriguez For Her Rose Musk. Um, and rose traditionally, I guess, yeah. has feminine connotations. It's, uh, you know, the, the brand is for, for her. her. Um, but this one, because it's got that sort of depth to it, I really feel like it's a good alternative for a guy a guy want to wear definitely it. wear this um it's got that lovely richness to it and although it's not one of those fragrances that will overpower you it definitely feels got it's got some strength yes what a little bit of oud yeah yeah but and very um, gentle the the spicy saffron yes so you've got again that sort of richness coming mm. through with the spicy notes. it's really good it's actually so isn't good. it and it, it is floral and it's sensual yes and again you know you want to feel sexy on your wedding day that's as well. true yeah <laughs> yeah nice beautiful good so option. a sort of floral woody oriental option yeah in a rather opulent gold bottle. Yeah, so our last category is something blue. Mm. So for this one, we have Bulgari's blue. Eau Parfumé Ote Bleu, mm. which is in a lovely blue bottle. I don't know if you if we've showed any of these, but no, we maybe showed it here there know. before. But I love these so bottles good. from Bulgari. Mm. They are just beautiful. Um, that is a blue bottle as yeah. well, isn't it? Well, yeah. it, do you think it's the, the liquid inside? or is No, the, bottle the glass is the blue, yeah. Um, this is from the tea collection, so the Ote um, perf Parfumé um, collection, and it originally started with the green tea one um, back in the 92. 90s. Yes, and actually that was the first Bulgari fragrance. It was. Um, so they extended the range over the years. They added white tea, red tea, and then more recently this blue tea. Um, blue tea itself. Tell me if any of you have drunk blue tea. I haven't. I haven't. I, honestly, I'm a bit of a uh, British builders tea and okay. that's that's it really Nothing like that. um, maybe like on peppermint yeah um, so I'm oh, not wow. an expert but apparently oh, I've got no skin left this is it's so nice on my skin. apparently blue tea is somewhere between green tea and black tea in strength in terms of teas it's also known as oolong tea as well if you know oolong I've totally um, started listening to you because I just love it it's I'm just, really, I'm just in a cloud so of it's, Ote Bleu it's got the thing that I like about white tea, I like the Ote Blanc fragrance from this, and that's got a soft, soft. powdery feel. And this is powdery. Iris. Oh my it's God, it's very amazing. irisy. Yeah. It's so amazing. I, I honestly, I'm, you need this I in need your life. This in my life. Why do, why do I not, why have I not got one of these? This is what happens when we do these videos. We're like, actually, I need one of those. 
I love Iris, love, 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 but it's got that sort it of really gentleness. It's really nice. Yeah, so I mean, you know, if we're thinking about masculine, masculine yeah, masculine elegance on your wedding day. Yes. If you want to be that sort of refined, yes. elegant gentleman groom. Not shouty. No. You know, this is this just is perfect. cool and yeah. calm. It's got that sort of, um, almost like a, yeah, calming. Yeah, it's like, a bit sparry. Yes. So again, if you're a bit nervous on your wedding day, yeah. maybe have a spritz of this. Yeah. Pre-speeches, yes. have a little spritz mm. of this. Good idea. <laughs> I do really like this as well, yeah. I've it's... forgotten all about I this know. one. No. I'm glad you picked Good this. blue option and good, mm. even though you picked it for a man, it's a collection that definitely yeah, be worn by a woman as well. Um, so if you're <laughs> getting married this summer, good luck. Um, let us know what you maybe wore on your wedding day. Um, do you still wear it now? Mm. Is it something you just saved for your wedding and then haven't worn it since, or has it become question. your signature scent? Because that does often happen, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think that's the thing as well is that you uh, often, if you're wearing something on your wedding day, those memories yeah. are brought back. Yeah, and I quite like to return back to exactly. Mine. Yeah. So let us know, and I hope you enjoyed that little roundup themed yeah. roundup of uh, some fragrances for guys. And uh, see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye.